Have you ever wondered where everything came from? Where did the sun and the moon and the stars come from? Where did plants come from? Where did fish and birds come from? Why, where did animals and people come from? Yes, how did all of these things get here? How can we find out? Well, the Bible tells us where all these things came from, how they got here. In fact, the very first words of the whole Bible say, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then the Bible goes on to tell more about how God did this. The Bible tells us that at first everything was dark and water covered the whole world. But then the Bible says that in six days God made everything. The Bible then goes on to tell us that on the first day, And God said, Let there be light. And there was light, just like that. And God saw that the light was good, was just right. God called the light time day, and he called the dark time night. So there was evening and morning, day one. The next day, day two, God made the sky with clouds in it. Yes, God separated the water on the world from the water above the world. But water still covered the whole world. So there was evening and morning, day two. Then, on day three, God had dry land come up out of the waters that covered the whole world. God called the dry land earth, and he called the waters seas or oceans. And God saw that they were good. They were just right. Then still on day three, God said for plants to grow on the earth. There were trees and bushes and grasses all sorts of plants. And these plants would grow flowers and fruits and vegetables. And God made the plants so that they would have seeds that would grow into more plants like themselves. And God saw that everything was good. It was just right. So that was evening and morning, day three. Then in the morning on day four, God made the sun, the moon, and the stars. Now you remember that God had made light on day one. So now on day four, God made what I call light holders, the sun, the moon, the stars. And God saw that they were good. They were just right. So that was evening and morning, day four. Well, the next morning was day five. And on day five, God made fish and all the other animals that live under the water. And he also made birds and flying things that would fill the sky. Now, remember on day two, God had made the sky and the oceans. So now, on day five, God made all sorts of fish and other things to swim in the water. And God made all sorts of birds and flying things to fly in the sky. And God made the fish and birds so that they'd have babies like themselves. And God saw that they were all good. They were just right. So that was evening and morning, day five. Then the next morning was day six. Now, remember back on day three, God had made the dry land and plants. He did that so that the world would be all ready for the things that he was going to make on day six. The world would have a place for these things to live and good food for them to eat. So now, first on day six, 
God made all kinds of animals. He made elephants and horses and lions and lizards and all kinds of bugs, all the kinds of animals that live on the land. And God made these animals so they'd have animal babies like themselves. And God saw that the animals were all good. They were all just right. Then still on day six, God made something very special. God made people. Yes, God made a man and a woman. A little later, the Bible says their names were Adam and Eve. And God made the people to be sort of like himself. And God made the man and the woman so they could have human babies like themselves. And God blessed the man and woman. And God said that they were to be rulers over all the animals and fish and birds. And God looked at everything he had made. And he saw that everything was good. Everything was just right. So that was the evening and morning, day six. Well, the next morning on day seven, what do you think God made? Nothing. He decided not to make anything more. He'd already made everything he wanted to make. That's right. God was through making the whole world and everything in it. The Bible says God rested. Now, that doesn't mean God was tired. No, it just means that God stopped making new things. He stopped creating. God was finished making new things. So, what do we have here? Let's quickly go over it. The Bible tells us that on day one, God made light. On day two, God made the sky. On day three, God made dry land and plants. On day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars, sort of holders for the light that he made on day one. On day five, God made fish and birds to be in the ocean and sky that he'd made on day two. On day six, God made animals and people to be on the dry land and to eat the plants that he'd made on day three. Then on day seven, God stopped creating new things. We say he rested. And that is how everything got here. God made them all. Yes, God can do anything, can't he? He is very powerful and very good. Oh, praise him. Oh, praise him. Hallelujah. 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 And God knows everything. And God also is very loving. In fact, the Bible tells us that God the Father loves us so very much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to die for our sins. And then Jesus was alive again, and he is still alive. And anyone who believes this, trusts in Jesus to forgive their sins, will have everlasting life. And someday, the Lord Jesus will come back to earth and be king of everything he created. Yeah.